30 seconds. Or 30 seconds. Alright, let's ready. see. We got on the Nova Nighthawk side, we have Reinhardt, as we predicted, Zarya, Symmetra, McCree, Baptiste, and Lucio. And on side of Hood College, we have Baptiste again, Lucio again, Diva, Symmetra, May, and Reinhardt. Very, very similar teams here. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really surprise me. They're all powerhouses, and some of them are just made for this map. Symmetra on both sides, just a work on choke points if you manage to catch the point, as well as the front attack. Being able to pierce through people with the uh, the orbs that Symmetra has really help. I blinked for a second. How did they get in? Symmetra has a teleport. <laughs> right. I just, I just, I just don't know how she got her ultimate immediately. That's what I'm confused about. Unless it's her ability. I don't it's know. It's her ability right now. Symmetra, you're thinking of a long time back. Symmetra's <laughs> teleporter is now on... Her ability. ability. Her ultimate is Big Wall. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I can never remember the actual names of abilities. I am likely going to spout garbage throughout this entire game. For example, example, if I ever just forget what Winston's name is, I will just yell Big Monkey. So be right. aware of that. But Hood College, honestly, off to a very strong start. Managed to cap the point first after pushing Nova Nighthawks off. Yeah, it's currently at 20%, and they're doing a very good job of keeping uh, the Nova Hawks out. Yeah, something I really love to watch in terms of high-level play versus literally anywhere else that I can watch Overwatch aside from, you know, competitive streams and such, is that they do the one thing that online can never do properly, and it's not go in one by one. <laughs> Going in as a team is pretty nice and competitive play. It's so... Easy of a concept. Oh, that was nice. a ultimate shatter. By Reinhardt. And then he was, I think, stopped by other Reinhardt. Yeah, sure. Not entirely sure exactly. Just what nothing happened. happened. He didn't have any backup to go with. But it looks yeah. like Nova Nighthawk is going to win this fight after taking three down from Hood College. They just got to make sure they cap the point. Nova, or, or Hood rather, doing a really good job of keeping the capture bar from going up. Not enough, though, it looks like. Nova Nighthawk is finally gonna cap it. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Nova Nighthawks currently have control of the point, and it was like they're actually pushing out of the point and trying to push them back into their own spawn. Always a nice call. Very good Maywall to block off that grab. Uh, that was uh, the Zarya. Um, that was the Zarya, and I was thinking about what the name was, and I didn't want to butcher it too hard. <laughs> Four people in there, right heart, watch out! <laughs> nice teleporter by Hood, managing to just get around. That way, get straight into They're not contesting the point. Two down already by Nova, but it's the same on Hood's side. Not sure who's gonna be able to take this, though. Uh, two Symmetra walls down, blocking the most damage on both sides. I mean, hey, whatever works. At this point, it's just a delayed fight. Which team can survive long enough to get everyone else into the spots? But it looks like Nova managed to keep their defense. Now they're just gonna wait to... Hood's just gonna group back up and wait for the next push. Yeah, it looks like Nova Nighthawks managed to keep the point alive, so... They're about to approach uh, the Hood College percentage, and... Nice. They have passed it. <laughs> All right. So Nova Nighthawks currently, uh, currently I have the advantage. Yeah, Hood College at this rate have time for maybe two pushes total before it's a guaranteed loss. That being said, though, it looks like they're going to wait it out and aim for a back door. Not quite able to make it before Nova managed to catch this. But now reaching the 90% mark, they are on their last legs. One fight's going to end it. And with Hood College already losing three members, it looks like Nova is going to take the first game. Unless Diva can get on site like right now, but it looks like she died. So no, Nova Nighthawks take the first round on Lee Jang Tower. That was a, a good round. Both teams did really well. You always love seeing strong defense 
and both sides did an incredible job of doing that. Yeah, and it all came down to that one team fight with the college where they just lost the point and they just could never manage to get it back, unfortunately. Yeah, on that side, there's just one really good choke point that if you manage to get through it, you have easy access to the center. But if yeah. you can't get through it because it's such a good choke point, you're stuck. There's no better places to get to the point from. Um, what I'm actually really surprised about is the use of the C, uh, the Symmetra uh, teleporter. That was a uh, very good use on both sides. Yeah, both sides. I mean, Symmetra's really good for this guy's <laughs> And both sides got that done. Lucy is now going to be in a oh, bad geez. spot. That was so cool. Can I say it's a YouTube clip? <laughs> However, he does kind of go in all by himself, not quite expecting the full team to come in with the Symmetra Teleporter. And while it is still locked, it's looking like Hood College is going to take the point for the first spot once again. Um, do you know exactly how Symmetra Teleporter works? Like, does it have to be like put on someone? Is that why they bring Lucio in first to teleport on him? So Lucio just went in first. Yeah. I don't know why he did that, but he did. But if you noticed and looked closely, Hood College had the entire team come in on that teleporter. Yeah, which is what I'm confused about. So I'm just like, I don't know how you managed to place the teleporter. I remember the teleporter having a limited amount of uses. Either that or just whenever I played with people, it got destroyed after a certain amount of people went through. Okay. But it looks like once they placed it, everyone got teleported on with it because it's <clears> there. <throat> that being said, though, Looks like another fight in the main area. Yeah, uh, let's see, Hood College, Metro Wall is down, so it's blocking a lot of the Nova Nighthawk damage, so they're having a very hard time getting inside. Uh, May Wall just went down, blocking more damage again. Yeah, May is always just either an annoyance or a really helpful tool, depending on whose team she's on, for tapping the objective kind of maps like this. And since she's on both teams, it's both. She's both yeah. an annoyance and a very good tool. Yeah, uh, May can be uh, very useful or uh, very detrimental to your team, depending on how you use it. Yeah, but looks like May did put down her Frost Circle, once again, and not remembering names. I will not apologize. Ooh, really good Diva ult. Nice block by, I'm not sure if we need that time. I assume it was a combination oh, of- Oh, what a shatter! Hittering the entirety of one college. Yeah, and good job on Z Zarya. Didn't want to double up on the ult because she knew that they'd be able to clean it up. Three go down early, now four on Hood College. As Nova Nighthawks take the point, and this might be a repeat of last match. Yeah, with uh, Hood College taking the uh, the majority of the first half, and then Nova Nighthawks just completely taking like the second half with uh, no recapture. But uh, we shall see. I'm curious on how the Hood College is uh, going to uh, try and retake this point, considering they have pretty similar teams. I mean, both teams have really good uses. I think the only difference, if I'm peeking at it real quick, is a D.Va on Hood College's side in exchange for Zarya on Nova, which are just both really good tank options. And ulti by the window by Zarya just to keep oh. them up there and in place. Kind of punching bags, if not for Reinhardt's shield. Unfortunately, Reinhardt didn't get there, unfortunately, so they did take a lot of damage. Oh, and that is a full team wipe on the side of Hood College. Not quite, but you are right. It was just clean, well, cleanup. And Nova <laughs> Nighthawks, once again, just showing off their defensive skills. That yeah, their uh, Nova Nighthawk side um, a use of ultimates is just actually insane right now like they're anytime they use ulties they're getting like four or five six kills i mean that's kind of just how to defend isn't it i you mean just, yeah but just like using but, but using your ulti at the right time is hard <laughs> this is very true but i mean the best form of cc is murder so See, you just kill again just kill a shatter hitting five people again with the main wall to just absolutely corner them that's three down on side of hood college and nova once again not taking a single loss of people four on hood and once again nova takes it for game one of this match i think this counts as game one it is the 2-0 so it gets to finish right yes so i'm pretty sure this is 
this is game one. And I'm pretty sure it's best of three. It should be best of three as far as I'm aware. But let's look at that amazing shatter and just a very quick cleanup of the entire team. Great team play, great timing for all that stuff. I wish I was this good. I wish I had teammates that were this good as well. But... <laughs> Honestly, the, their, their amount of uh, team play is actually insane on both sides. Um, I could, I could, I could never. <laughs> I mean, I could. I just need to have a team as good as them, and then I'd be that good. Tr true. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, though, really good job. Nova just flexing on everyone. Their ability to, once they take the point, defend it. Because... Yes, obviously, if you lose a fight there, you lose the point, and they didn't lose. But the fact that they so dominantly won every single defense, being that they only lost one person, or maybe two, and pushed back four or five people every single time that Hood College was on attack, just shows how dominant they are in regards to their team defense. Yeah, I think I think the biggest thing comes down to um, Nova Nighthawks' uh, use of ultimates. Um, the Hood College, when they typically get the first point, it looks like they're always on like the back foot on trying to defend, and then once the Nova Nighthawks finally push through that defense, uh, they're able to just completely dominate the the capture point. Yeah, I do also want to point out that Hood College did a really good job every time of capturing first. Once there were no ultimates in play. They just all came onto the point at the same time. And while Nova didn't exactly have a trickle effect getting in, they still came in but, slightly slower, not all at once, couldn't get the point. Yeah, they, they were very slightly staggered. Yeah, but both teams have amazing start strategies. Obviously, Hood's being a little bit stronger of a start strategy, but Nova's ability to layer their ultimates, use them properly, and when everyone's there, they win the fights. Obviously, this is just something very important that Hood needs to pick up on. Yeah. Um, speaking of uh, the point, uh, the next map is going to be a hybrid uh, on King's Road next. Now, hybrid. A half push payload and then half capture point. Or I think it's capture point and then push payload. I believe you're right on the second one. Yeah. Because I don't believe I've ever seen a map where you push a uh, payload to a point and then capture the point. That's sorry. That, that's me thinking of TF2. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, they, they could do it. It's an interesting concept. There's, um, there's no such thing as copying from other games. It's just inspiration. It's not plagiarism. I'm listen, just borrowing an idea. <laughs> listen, my song's unique. It might have the same first four notes as Megalovania, but it's my song. <laughs> All um, right. Shout uh, out to Sweet Home Alabama having the first four notes as Megalovania. Just in a different tone. Yeah. And we're into King's Row. I think King's Row was the first map I ever played on. I do not remember the first map I played on. <laughs> so long ago. I mean, I just, I remember it pretty vividly because I was on defense and it was very early into Overwatch's life cycle, as in day one. And I said, Very early, it's day one. And I said, right. hee hee, funny dwarf have turret. Oh, interesting. We have a huge change of team. On the side of Nova Nighthawks, we have Reinhardt, Zarya, and May again. But we have Ash, Mercy, and Baptiste. And on the side of Hood College, we have Baptiste, Anna, Diva, Genji, Farah, and Reinhardt. And I don't think we saw Anna or Genji um, last game. And we definitely didn't see Ash or Mercy last game. So, this is true. But I'm, curious, time, I'm curious on why these champions are better on this map than on the other map. Well, if you think about it a little bit, Five, in terms of four, Anna? Three, is it Anna or Anna? It's Anna. I could never pronounce it properly. <laughs> uh, in terms of Anna, there's a lot more straightforward areas that you can you know, hit your teammates for on this kind of place. Because there's a long area, Anna can just sit back hit people, both enemies and allies, from farther away, while on Lijiang Tower, you're all kind of clumped up. So yeah, but I, but I feel like with her bio nade, it would be really easy to just stop healing for the entire enemy team. They're all clumped up like that. That might be true, but you have to get close enough to use it. That's really? It's just, you, can, you can eat that pretty far. Yeah, not to mention, just in terms of the overall switch-up, 
some teams, some heroes, just have better uses at different places. Yeah. Like, for example, you don't see a, a Lucio this time, when both teams have Lucio. That's because it's um, better to have characters that can sit back a little bit further and heal, yeah. and you don't have to be rushing around, jumping off of walls, and being harder to hit. It's something that's just less needed. Yeah, um, Nova Nighthawks is doing a very good job at holding this choke point, though. And uh, I believe Hood College just did a full reset after a couple people died, so I'm going to see how they're going to try and push this again. That's quite possibly... Ooh, looks like both brothers, uh, Hanzo and Genji, are now on the side of Hood College. Yeah, I think they were placed... That... No, they didn't place anyone. No, they were placed. They replaced someone. <laughs> they definitely replaced someone. <laughs> Someone's gone. Oh, they replaced Pharah. Ah, uh, yes. Honestly, right. this is just what we're gonna Hood, be seeing. Hood College going around the back side of the alley to see if they can try and push in. Uh, maybe a two-sided front attack, but uh, there's a May wall right there, so it's making it kind of hard. Yeah, once again, May existing as a problem. I don't ever remember pushing from that that specific spot when I played. That being said, I only ever played tanks, so... You weren't really pushing that spot then, would you? No, I wouldn't. Ooh, oh. double shield meta? Is it back? Double shield? Oh, I guess it's Zarya and Reinhardt. Technically Baptiste as well, but that's an ulti, so I don't think it can count. He doesn't have an ulti on his... No, I mean, his... I count his ulti as a shield because it just needs more healing and damage. It's a damage shield, offensive. It's a damage shield, that's not how it works. Listen, that's not what shielding means. What's the best form of CC? What is it? Answer me. It's death. It's death. So, it's a shield if you just kill your enemies faster. Thought that's what that means. Are you sure though? Yes. Because I haven't heard anyone in chat say I'm wrong, so that means I'm right. Yeah. Um. Apparently this is a stalemate going on right now, like, Hood College really isn't, like, pushing in, and the Nighthawks... Oh, and... There goes Zarya. They're trying, they're trying to go in. Yeah, it looks like Hood at the moment is just trying to rack up some ulti points, because Nova has three of them available. Looks like Mercy just used right, hers now. as well. But they've got so much better of a defense ability. Yeah, they have uh, 35 seconds left, and it's it's looking real rough for Hood College right about now. I mean, they still got They time. need to make something happen soon. Diva ult's gonna come up pretty soon, that might be it. Yeah, but Reinhardt shield just also, all of that. Also, uh, funny dragon arrow is about to get shot. Oh, there's the Diva ult. Diva ult, and now funny dragon oh, arrow is gonna This will be the push in, or the opportunity they need. Oh, there's May Blizzard coming out. I expect a Reinhardt Shatter to come down as soon as they get on point. Still uh, nothing. Mercy, quite Mercy. Yet. Yep, there, there. I think uh, Shatter was used. Yeah, Shatter was just used, and they cleaned up, and round one goes to Nova Nighthawks, who did a beautiful defense. There's Emma. Really, there really hold out those choke points. I see my hamster boy. <laughs> Hammer coming in clutch at the last second. All right, now I believe on in terms of hybrid maps, the winner is decided by who can push further, which means yes. that if Nova can just get the point, and in terms of any point of it, I think even the first third, it'll count as their win. I don't think it's even the first third. I think it's if you just capture it. I mean, the first third is in the three ticks on the circle. So okay. you know how you just need to sit on it for a certain amount of time, and there's a point where it won't go back down to a certain yeah. amount? That being said, once again, it's right. been a little bit. All right, let's let's see. I'm I'm interested to see Nova Nighthawks' attack strategy. They obviously have Hanzo once again. They're sticking with Mercy as their yeah. ruler alongside Baptiste. Oh, and see McCree. Yeah, May on attack though. Oh, never mind. Not May on attack. We got Torb. Oh, there's that Torb coming out. Never mind. I, not Torb. You know. He's just switching. Who knows what he's gonna play? <laughs> we don't. We don't know what. Uh, Charlantis? Is that the same? Uh, no, yeah, Charlantis. looks like Charlantis. Yeah, yeah. Char Tor he's going Torb. <laughs> Which I'm actually nine. really surprised he didn't. Uh, the uh, Nova Nighthawks did go Torb last round, considering they were holding that choke point for so long. 
but I, it worked out for them, so clearly they know something I don't. Torb sometimes is really good on attack in situations like this, where you just need to add pressure. Though, once again, back to Meg. Um, yeah, and they just, no, but I just kind of walked in. Yeah, I guess they I are. Guess, I, I, guess, I guess they're protecting the Torb turret in the back. There is no Torb uh, turret. Oh, they, Torb isn't they, here. They, <laughs> Torb isn't here. May is honestly a better idea for this matchup, yeah. simply because offensive walls. Yeah, except Hood College just kind of let them just walk into sight. Like, so like just... you say that, but they are definitely taking out Nova Nighthawks once again, showing superior domination in regards to team fights, taking out all five of Hood College teams, yeah. zero, and that's their win. And that's that's the game. Victory. Nova Nighthawks clean two zero. Yeah, uh, superior nope. team fight ability. Yeah, so Nova Nighthawks is actually insane right now. Like they just. Their, their team play, their use of ulties, is just absolutely incredible. Like, this this fight isn't even a ulti used fight. It's just Zarya play of the game showing up and using the laser. <laughs> Zarya's always been strong. If you have that 100% on her shield, it it does so... Her laser does so much damage. Yeah, shout out to the plague. I think that said the plague. There's yes. Team healing, even if it was on, I think the losing team. Hood. Yes, it might have been red. Might have just yes, been it was. Things. It was yeah. uh yes, Nova Nighthawks was blue, so Hood College have been red. Yeah, but either way, really good job by both teams. Nova just managed to inch out every single victory through what looked like superior team fight ability.